I've got something special, guys. We've got the Legacy mod that turns your GTEC and 160R into a mechanical marker. And uh, this video is all about that. I used it uh, last weekend in a tournament, and this thing just freaking rips, man. Pretty fucking slick, huh? Absolutely purely mechanical and you can just let this bad boy rip You just need a fast topper to keep up so you don't chop if you're uh, really romping on it But the gamma core in these things lends itself nice for a mechanical setup with the rise of mechanical tournaments coming up and, and you know Come back big comeback for mechanical. It is nice to have a platform. That's reliable What's cool about the gamma core is that it is dwell independent you pull the trigger one time that thing fires you don't have to worry about you know timing with the dwell and how many milliseconds and you know first shot drop off where they have to expand the, the dwell on it to not have the first shot drop off all those problems are gone just based on mechanics of this drivetrain this bolt system fantastic they're using it in everything etha 2 you know standard gtech and they have a tweaked version that's going into the cs2 so you guys know this thing kicks ass when it's actually replacing a cs uh you know cs1 1.5 drivetrain so Great marker for mechanical platform. Um, Legacy Mod stepped in and has a answer when Planet Eclipse has not had time to develop some sort of kit for the standard GTEC. So right off the bat, I will tell you guys there is no safety. Some people noted that it might get banned from a tournament for that, but there are a lot of mechanical markers that don't have safeties on them. So this guy, we have a pops on this one. Very easy to turn on and off. If you have the ops, you just got to give it a twist. Use your ASA as a safety on it. You know, just like you would any other mechanical that doesn't have a safety or a function safety, functioning safety. Um, I can't tell me the rental markers I've seen from Painful Parks that don't have working safety either. I don't think it's a big deal. I think people are upset about the rate of fire because you can really romp on this guy if the trigger set up right. If you don't have the trigger set up right, it's going to be a little bit tougher to do, but it's very easy to get your adjustments going. It's a great trigger system on the 160R. Let's take a quick peek, guys. Let's do a quick look inside. Pull the grips off. You can see the valve and you can see the lever. Lever's right here. GTEC 160R is green. And then we have an orange kind of slash pinkish one for the regular standard GTEC. Let's go ahead and pull the frame off. So first you gotta pull the gamma core out. We'll set it aside. Grip frames removed. It's very easy to install this. You have to remove the solenoid. You got four screws here. It comes in a new gasket. You put it on the on the block here. Very easy to do. Um, when you go to install the frame, you want your lever off. You want to put it on afterwards. There's a little piece in the frame, notch in there that you can't get around. Uh, this standard GTEC green one 160R doesn't take a lot to actually start venting the valve here. So it's uh, you got to be careful on your trigger adjustments. So if you hear it degassing when you air it up again. You know, you just got to work the trigger out a little bit. You just want to trigger just a little bit more farther forward than normal. And again, you don't want too much wasted travel on the trigger going backwards. So you do want to adjust here out. All right, so let's look at the trigger adjustments. We've got trigger adjustment here. This front screw limits the travel backwards. So it adjusts how far your trigger is going to go. That's critical. You don't want too much, as I said earlier, you don't want too much movement rearwards. It just takes a little bit to vent that valve, too much travel, and you're going to have some wasted energy, and it's going to be a little bit harder to walk the trigger. You've got your uh, spring right here. So this is how much uh, play you're going to have in the trigger and, and stiffness. You can adjust that to your preference. Right here is going to be the engagement screw um, for the micro switch. It's a little... Allen key that pokes back and that'd be the guy tripping the micro switch but in this point it's going to be contacting the uh, the, uh, the lever and you want that guy just sticking out a couple millimeters not too much just basically right out of the back of the trigger so the back of the trigger or won't get caught on the lever here this second screw is how far the trigger comes forward and you want that guy out a little bit more than you would on the micro switch one just so you're not going to you want a little bit of travel so you can get a little bit of walking on there 
Um, but your trigger adjustments are critical for getting the speed out of this guy. Very easy to do. You, this thing rips and it just takes a little bit of finger practice, man. So again, $90, man. Right now it's on sale for $90. I think it lists about $120. This is a prototype version we got beforehand. Um, you know, they were nice enough to send it out to us so we could use it in our tournament. And this thing performed beautifully all day. Um, you know, production one is anodized and it's actually laser etched too. So pretty sweet. In the description below, I will have um, a link to their website. You know, and uh, I highly recommend you guys check it out if you have a 160R if you're thinking about 160R versus a standard, you know, do a little bit of research, but uh, definitely check out Legacy Mod. It is a great solution for mechanical marker. Hope you guys enjoy. Go for it. There you go. These two fingers, get a little, get a little goose. I can't do that. You can't do it? <laughs> too much, too much pump? I feel like I'm standing out waiting for someone to shoot me every time I'm up. Look at that. That's amazing. <sighs>